All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So quick, quick little video here. We finally got word on what exactly, or I guess where exactly, the New York Jets are going to be picking with their extra draft capital, right? The Jets were just awarded three compensatory picks. We knew uh, th that they were going to be getting three, but we didn't know where. So the first one is in round six, pick 218. The following two, both in round seven, back to back actually at 256 and then 257. One thing that we have seen, uh, you know, with Joe Douglas, really since he's taken over, he does like to move up and down the draft in the in 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 the uh, really in the second portion, right? That those day three picks. I mean, he'll he'll move up and down, right? And, and I mean, in some cases, he'll just get rid of the picks and just trade them for future, uh, you know, draft assets. So it should be interesting. Again, quick little video here, and I know you know some fans can be saying like, okay, who? Who cares for seventh round picks and whatnot? Uh, in fact, I was actually just texting my buddy, um, who's a diehard Jet fan, the same thing. And he was just like, you know, it's not a first round pick, it's not a second round pick, doesn't really matter. But in my opinion, the answer is absolutely it does. That's, that's you know, yes, they're late round picks, but first off, think about how excited, I, well, I can't speak for everybody, um, but if you're, you know, a fan that gets excited for like the undrafted free agent market and all that kind of stuff, um, those are essentially guys that are beyond late round picks, right? So I'm all for it. I'm all for adding young, ta young talent to, you know, your, you know, your favorite, favorite NFL team. Uh, but I think, you know, also macro perspective, that's three more opportunities to add talent to the locker room. Three more opportunities that the Jets could, you know, I, I know it might sound a little crazy, given that they're late round picks, but three opportunities that the Jets can find a diamond in the rough, right? A star, um, you know, did anybody, I mean, I can't speak, you know, I, I think some people definitely felt this way, but not everybody, the majority not, uh, majority did not feel this way, but how did Brock Purdy, you know, like, like how, how what was the majority's uh, mindset with Brock Purdy? Just that, you know, a random backup quarterback, practice squad guy, third stringer, the dude, the st you started in the Super Bowl, right? So I'm all for adding extra draft picks. Give me as many as possible. I will take them all. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Quick little video here. Uh, quick little video here. And as always, go Jets.